Time to make love. We are not making war no more with Dr. Love. Dr. Love Hilary by Nemgisha with Imi. We are going to be finding a way of solving all your issues. Relationship, out of relationship. We are not that brilliant, but we have... I am not that brilliant, but you are. I think we are brilliant. Coming up with such a concept uh. is one of the most brilliant things that we have done this year. You're we talking about brilliant, brilliant Dr. Mm. Love. In the news, we have um, our state minister for health in charge of general duties, Sarah Opendi. She's actually worried that the men are breastfeeding. You know, usually we are used to the babies being breastfed by the mothers, but now all of a sudden, they are men who are breastfeeding. And apparently, it has been happening. Dr. Love, tell me this is not the first time you're hearing about it. No, I had heard, I had heard about it actually last year. It came out um, in two districts, still Tororo and Buyukwe. Women were complaining to to service providers that their babies <laughs> were lacking <laughs> enough, service enough providers. breast milk. But still, even today, I talked to the minister. I asked her for data research: how many women, how many men are breastfeeding, how many women are affected. She said it was um, through peer discussions that women tell her what's happening. And so, well, there is no smoke without fire. Jesus. Most probably men are breastfeeding. I would think, the I is it like a disorder? Is it like an obsession? Is it like a disease? Like it's so sick to even think about an adult grown man breastfeeding. Okay, initially I had thought it's about sensual arousal like okay forgive my perverted head but uh, uh, what is it <laughs> is it a disease okay first of all sexual talking i thinking sexual is not poverty it's not perversion it is actually the normal some of us perversion are is the resistance to think sex mm -hmm. but secondly a normal natural adult will not like breast milk I tried testing my own breast milk, but <laughs> I couldn't get to putting it to my, my own mouth. But there are adults there that are yeah, actually the, enjoying it. The curious ones might test to see how it tastes. But actual ingesting it would be one if they are convinced there is a medicinal property and the minister said they take it to cure erectile dysfunction, cancer, HIV, such things. Yes, milk has some properties, but I doubt if that's the reason. The second one could be the obsession that uh, people get with something, and then they take it further than it's supposed to go. But thirdly, maybe women who complain are just attracting attention to themselves. Okay. I, I, I was a bit traumatized when I got here of this story. I painted a picture of a child lying on the side hoping to get a bit of what is rightly theirs and then there is this man who say give me that breast give me that breast now and then there is this lady who is stuck between do i give it to the or maybe you do left and right one baby then this other one is for the man but then at the end of the day it becomes overwhelming so are you dealing with a sick man is he obsessed or probably he is suffering from a cancer that he thinks will cure it? Actually, the minister painted a picture of a fight between a father and a child. This is sad. And then even say that at one time, at one point, women are forced to share either breast. They are breastfeeding the man here and the, and the child here and the baby here. But that the man, of course, the man's pressure and suckling is faster, harder, I think gets out all the breast. <laughs> but but uh, that regardless, let us now look at it objectively. Why would an adult man want breast milk? Certainly it cannot be for hunger. Because it could be for hunger. You know, we are dealing with a country where anything is possible. The man is hungry and possibly breast milk also works with hangovers. We need to possibly demystify what, what is contained in this breast milk. And 
has it happened time immemorial or are we the the the, the ones who have given birth to this sickness mm -hmm. of adult breastfeeding okay in my argument is if it was hunger probably the woman is also hungry the, the whole family is starved of food and when the woman is not as satisfied there is not enough breast milk so maybe it's not hunger but if it's an obsession that you take this milk because one he said she said it cures sexual dysfunction is it true that could be true to some extent let me paint this scenario breasts are natural arousers of men sexually we there are many reasons why men find the breast we are not going to milk side, we are stopping at breast. It's okay, it's so okay. So the breast is naturally arousing because it's different. The man doesn't see it on himself. Things that are different from males arouse males. So therefore the man doesn't have pro e big breasts, so they arouse him. And then the natural instinct to plant their seed associated breasts with the nurturing of this seed and then it works through that instinctive arousal then thirdly the 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 breast has a way the breast is a sexual organ is it now yes it has a lot of nerve centers around itself okay. so it it takes that stimulation through to the brain and 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 men who have interacted with the breast know that once you poke it, you know, there is a way it reacts to you <laughs> with anger. It looks at I you. I swear, if I were white, I'd be blushing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it <laughs> pops out. Because I own some breasts, you know? Maybe at that time you are also not watching your breasts. You're dead somewhere in your bliss. But for, for me, at my age, I can tell you that I have watched the breast react and tell me the level of arousal at which I have taken <laughs> my partner to. And that arouses me too. So the breast is actually something <sighs> that men out there need not ignore. It is a sexual organ. Okay. Dr. Love. Yes. The breast is a sexual organ. Sure. We have the man, we have the woman. But why does the man have a breast? Like, I know, okay, my, my breasts are uh, possibly to nurture this child. And right now I learn that I can nurture another adult man. However sick that sounds in my head. But now, why would a man have breasts? Like, w w is it to touch them? By any chance, do you breastfeed too? <laughs> okay, now why would men have breasts? Naturally, in evolution, humanity tends to shed off what it doesn't need. And in all mammals, you find males have breasts, but they don't need them. Actually, let me tell you, among all mammals, it is only humans who, whose breasts enlarge during arousal. It's only humans who are aroused by the breasts. Other animals don't get aroused by the female breasts. They don't even touch them or know where they are. <laughs> But in other male mammals, breasts enlarge during pregnancy. Only then. Now, for, for humans, the first six weeks of gestation, when you are, when a baby is in the stomach, okay. all fetuses are feminine, are female. Okay. You just get a tube of uh, the spinal cord and the others start forming. You are basically feminine. At around six, the sixth week or seven for some people, the Y chromosome comes in and then testosterone floods the fetus and then balls form and then the penis and then the testosterone takes control. It becomes the command center in the kid's balls and male fetus start. But at that time, the breasts have already been formed. So we initially start off as females, but reach a point and turn off. The, the, fem the female continue, continues, but the male turns off into manhood. Okay. So according to Darwin's theory, Darwin is a master of evolution psychology. Mm -hmm. Men should not need breasts. That's why they don't expand. But I, I beg to differ. You know, I, I, am, I am coming to your point. 
don't run away from the fact that the breasts really for the man also have a purpose like of course during romance mm. ca can you just get to that point because yes I'm, I'm I have that I'm coming to that here now yeah I'm coming to that now evolution says that a person a human a, an organ an organism will shed off what they don't need like we had tails one time and we didn't, didn't need them we did our ancestors had and we shed them off so the question now came to darwin's theory why have humanity all those mammals not shed off the they breasts didn't. because they don't need them so studies now started if we don't need breasts why do we have them why are over centuries why are we not seeing fed breasts fed off then they discover that actually breasts have a purpose for a man and this purpose is ignored by most people and i'm glad we are mentioning it here <laughs> breasts are a sexual organ yeah. for a man as much as it is for a woman studies have ha have been found actually because a lot of nerve endings end up at the breast yeah and you'll find that even during adolescence during um when a man when a boy reaches adolescence yeah. you find that breasts get lumps Mm. The formation when when the beards are coming, the voice is changing, mm. the alarms. Actually, when we were young, we were told to press so that that water comes out. Or if it doesn't come out, we we'll revolt breasts. Get breasts. And we we did, but it wasn't necessary. So now in arousal, if you are a woman, do not ignore his breast. Maybe he doesn't know. He doesn't know because C can you see. Can I, in can I try? Possibly, how is it done? Y yeah, you can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can try. You see, okay, how is on it a done? human being, if you don't use any organ on you, it doesn't evolve, but it stays there in its potential form. If you start arousing your man through the breast, first time, second, by the fifth time, he will want you to because he will feel it. You will have opened. You have dusted off. So the organ now starts being like you awaken a new yeah, breast feeling awake. of the you man. It. So therefore, and uh, and women also, many women get aroused through breast. Okay, but you know it would be nice if the men out there you you, you try and remind them that it's a breast. It's this nice, beautiful thing that is not supposed to be held anyhowly some squeeze it some bite some so basically instead of feeling the nice feeling you're supposed to be feeling this guy is p probably the way he goes to the bar and he gulps down a beer maybe a drink in two seconds he wants to gulp down the entire breast and swallow it <laughs> in <laughs> seconds and then maybe squeeze it with these real hard hands and then you as the lady who is supposed to be feeling that sweetness you don't feel it instead it's pain yeah. not pleasure i love that argument but you are doing like a woman <laughs> At that time, the man is not normal. It's not the normal male that you know. He's in his conquest moods. <sighs> He's under the power of testosterone. It is an aggressive hormone. He's conquering his world. He's about to spread his seed. His <laughs> seed is supposed to <laughs> represent him. That so, so when the man sick. is at that level, the, the blood moves to his sexual organ. And doesn't go to the head. Yes. You know, they, we just have enough. It doesn't get more blood necessarily. So it has to be mobilized from other organs to be put. Yes, where the it squeezing is. and the clenching and the, the muscles have got more power. I, it's a fighting mode. So it requires a lot of experience and a lot of coming down on yourself to, to be gentle. But gentle is not a sexual trait for men. Mm. It's aggression. It's conquest. It's war. So therefore, a, a person who is in control will then try to say, eh, eh, no, I have to be gentle. But then you realize, you get that through feedback. Yeah. When you're rough, you don't get the feedback. But when you're gentle, for example, when you just look at the breast, and the woman is aware that you're just looking at it, you see the breast reacting. <laughs> expanding that nipple coming out and <laughs> or if you kiss it lightly or touch it lightly it gives you the feedback 
that is faster than if you are grazing it and like you are hunting uh, an ant hill. <laughs> uh, you, you just gave me this fresh feeling of love for my breasts and uh, it reminds me of how we used to play in the rain and somehow when the rain would hit us with those nice shirts and then the breast would somehow point out and uh, well it, it it was a nice feeling but sick as it is we are going to continue demystifying the breastfeeding adults in uganda and i don't know maybe across the world imi and dr love